Hi, uh, Randy from Randy Torgerson from High Performance here in Pleasant Hill, Iowa. I just wanted to share this special project uh, with you before it leaves for Thailand. This is a 222 cubic inch street pro motor. This uh, is the fourth street pro motor manufacturer here at High Performance and probably the last. Uh, it utilizes the uh, Paul Matika, the Riverside Cycle Machine bottom end. Uh, Paul Matika uh, is out of Bristol, Connecticut. He has set several uh, pro stock drag racing records with this uh, system. The cylinder heads were manufactured in Manchester, New Hampshire. Uh, they're a joint effort between Paul Matika and Reggie Ronzello from r, r Cycle in Manchester, New Hampshire. They utilize 2.45 inch intake valves, 2 inch exhaust valves. The rocker arms are Jessel automotive rocker arms. This particular engine has 14 inch long push rods in it. Uh, it, it. It is a 5 and 5 16 bore with a 5 inch stroke with a 9 inch long steel connecting rod. The flywheels are manufactured by Paul Matika in Bristol, Connecticut. They are a full hex um, system with a full preloaded Timken bearing on each side of them. The crank cases, uh, the patterns came from Michael Dukes in Hamburg, Germany. They, uh, the castings, here is uh, the left side casting, were uh, cast in a foundry in Connecticut. They were machined here at high performance. The cylinders are manufactured out of ductile iron. Uh, here is a, a piece of the Durabar that we manufactured the cylinders from. The connecting rods were made out of uh, 4043 plate uh, machine uh, at Riverside Cycle Machine in Bristol, Connecticut, along with the flywheels. We chose uh, for the drivetrain on this system, we chose a uh, Karata 5 inch belt drive system with the Piranha clutch, 13 plate clutch, um, custom engraved here at high performance. Uh, the Thailand Dragon insignia was uh, furnished by Mr. Mario Clef, the, the customer. Uh, all of the custom uh, engraving was done here at high performance. Carburetors started life as SNSD carburetors. These have a larger 2.15 Venturi. We added the uh, three Thunder Jets per carburetor, and then the carburetors were show polished. We have added a special adapter plate to house the nitrous oxide uh, injection nozzles. Okay, the um, Pingle electric shifter was added to it, uh, which was a, a particular challenge. Uh, we had to change the geometry in order to get enough throw for the uh, electric solenoid. So we manufactured a special um, extension out of stainless steel and then show polished it. Uh, walking around the engine, um, the cradle plate that you see here was designed uh, to lock everything, the transmission, the primary and the engine together as one solid unit so we didn't have any flexing issues. Uh, we have added four vents to the cam cover. Uh, and two vents to the rocker boxes to uh, make sure that uh, the engine would breathe properly. The push rod covers were manufactured here at high performance out of uh, 6061 tubing. The um, oil pump is a SNS high volume oil pump. The Clutch release is hydraulic. <clears throat> Tech cycle 1.9 kW 
starter. Tech cycle 1.9 kW starter. Baker 5 speed torque box transmission. The compression ratio is 10.2 to 1. We have added two compression releases per cylinder head. Uh, we found uh, from the previous Pro motor that we built that three compressor releases is too many. Um, it wouldn't start, so uh, we've only adapted two to this um, engine. This engine is slated to uh, have a titanium frame wrapped around it uh, and is slated for the street. The, uh, the cylinder heads, when they arrived here from uh, R&R Cycle, had no cooling fins on them. So we took 2 inch plate, adapted uh, these to the cylinder heads. These are actually the head gasket surface. We machined the cooling fins into those. Uh, we also took uh, blocks of 6061, manufactured these cooling fin sections and bolted them to the Everything was show polished uh, in Manchester, New Hampshire. All of the uh, engraving programs uh, were supplied by uh, Danny Welsh here in Des Moines, Iowa machined here at High Performance. I want to thank the people that helped me on this project. I want to thank Reggie Ronzello from r, &R Cycle in Manchester, New Hampshire for his expertise. Mr. Paul Matika of Riverside Cycle Machine in Bristol, Connecticut for his analyst hours on the telephone helping me uh, choose the, uh, <clears throat> the best way to uh, complete this project. I want to thank Mr. Danny Welsh uh, here in Des Moines for his uh, creativity, his programming, uh, Mr. Rich Colson for all of his endless hours helping me put this thing together, take it apart, put it together, take it apart. I want to thank um, Mr. Dave Bell for all of his uh, excellent polish work. Uh, I want to thank Michelle, my assistant, for putting up with me for the last eight months while this project was being completed. And of course, the customer, uh, Mr. Mario Clef uh, from Thailand, uh, for the opportunity. Uh, 